Good morning, happy Monday. Let's set you here. Um, it is the start of a short work week because it is Easter weekend this weekend. So I'm actually off on Friday, which is Good Friday. I'm probably going to go to do Stations of the Cross with my mom and then Mass on Sunday. But other than that, I don't really have anything planned. It is incredibly warm today. I'm wearing a skirt without tights for the first time this season. Yesterday was technically the first day I wore shorts. And so far, it is the warmest day of the year. I'm very excited because I was just getting really kind of, I wouldn't say depressed, but it was just really gray and gross for a really long time there. There was a stretch of it not being necessarily cold, but it just being gray and dull. And I don't know about you guys, but my skin does not look good in that lighting. My skin always looks best in the summer and the spring, basically anytime it's sunny. My skin actually tends to look a little bit ashy when it is um, gray out, which I don't like. Um, but yeah, so I'm just getting ready for work right now. Sorry that I haven't posted a vlog in the last two weekends. I just haven't had the time to edit the footage together. And honestly, the footage is so random that there's zero storyline in them. But I am going to do my best to edit a vlog tonight. I actually filmed two videos on the weekend. One is my makeup declutter and another is an empties video. So I'm going to post my empties video first, then my makeup declutter. And yeah, I'm really excited. I actually um, pared down my entire makeup collection. Well, I didn't do my nail polishes or my makeup brushes yet, but I have pared down my makeup collection quite a bit and I'll show you guys what my goal was and what the final numbers were. Happy long weekend. The Bo and I have had a pretty productive morning today. I don't have any makeup on right now other than uh, some lipstick, which is the Dior Addict Extreme in Plaza. Fortunately, that is discontinued now, but I really love that lipstick formulation and I love this color. It's just like a really bright kind of cool pink, but it's sheer so I can get away with it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys kind of the update on my skin. I've been using a skincare routine for the last um, eight weeks, I want to say. Maybe a little less than that, maybe a little more, but totally based on the ordinary products. And I'm really happy with my skin right now. Even when it's, you know, that time of the month, I haven't been like super breaking out lately. I have gotten the occasional uh, blemish on my skin, but with the Ordinary products, it helps uh, not only prevent them necessarily, but also um, helps them fade very quickly. As you can see, this is the remnants of that um, scratch that I had on my face. So it's still there, it's still visible, but it's fading quite nicely and um, I'm very happy with um, how it's looking. And it's essentially just discoloration, there's no scar or mark there other than the dark spot. Anyway, so I am going to put away these groceries, I'm going to make some waffles and try out that new waffle iron, and then I am going to try to work on the lining of this Zara trench coat that I got. I'll show you guys what it looks like. You guys may remember this trench coat. I usually wear it around the springtime, but for whatever reason, the lining on this coat is horrendous and it ripped. So it ripped in a bunch of different places. I thought maybe that it ripped because it was too tight for me, but it fits fine. It's actually even a little bit um, loose around the waist. But for whatever reason, this lining, I guess it's just really, um, I don't know, fragile, I guess. But it ripped in a bunch of different places, so I want to try to replace it. Um, if I can't do it, I'll just take it to a tailor and get them to replace the lining, but I want to at least try. I have a sewing machine. I do have the basic knowledge and skills to do it, so hopefully um, I can do that today. So the first step is obviously removing the lining and then replicating the pattern on a different fabric. This is the fabric that I picked up to go inside. So it is a lining material, so hopefully um, it works out nicely. And I went with a navy because I feel like the navy and the khaki will look really nice together. I am on my way to Sephora because the VIB sale has started and I got 15% off. Today's the first day. It is the 18th of April. It goes on till the 24th. I don't really have anything I want to pick up. I just want to kind of browse 
maybe pick up some essential. So I am trying to decide whether I should go for the exfoliating scrub or the seven day scrub cream. I have them both on the back of my hand and so far, can't really tell the difference. It was, I'd say, a successful trip to Sephora. I'm going to place an online order because um, I want to pick up two more things. But I got a couple things. This bag is deceivingly large because there's only really one thing in here for me and it's a, the most practical thing ever. I only got two things, like I said. Um, I did get a bag. I guess this is what you get this year if you shop the Sephora sale. So it's a little tote. I actually like this one because it's made of canvas, not plastic for recycled materials. Um, one thing is a gift that I got for someone. It's a birthday gift and I really, really love these Sephora favorites kits. They're so fun, they're so cute, and they're literally the perfect gift because um, whoever you gift it to can try a bunch of different products. Anyway, so I thought that was like a really cute gift. It's very to spring and summery. And then the one other thing I got for myself was this guy. Basically sunscreen from Clarence. And the reason I got this one is because um, regular price, the sunscreen is 42 bucks, but this one came in a kit. So how could you resist two freebies? That's it, that's all I got in here. Um, I'm gonna place an order online for two things, both cleansers, and then I'll probably be done this year's sale. I'm heading to work a little bit early today because I have something I need to do this morning and I'm just sitting at my makeup table right now deciding what I'm going to wear. I'm still doing the um, kind of weekly makeup switch up. So I'll show you guys the products that I'm currently using this week. I don't know if I showed you what I was using last week. As you guys know, it's the annual Sephora spring sale and I really haven't had the desire to pick up any makeup mainly because I just did this huge makeup purge and I'm getting rid of quite a few products that I'm not using and the products I do have I'm still really loving so I'm hesitant to buy more because then what will happen to all the makeup behind me I'll forget about it again so I'm being really picky about what I pick up at the sale um normally I'll just pick up a bunch of things that I want to try because it's 15% off and why not but I'm kind of over that mentality and if I really want something and the sale is over I really don't have any qualms about paying full price and just getting it down the road but today for makeup I am going to use my hangover rx a primer which I'm just trying to use up I do like it but again I really like the ordinary primer so I probably will not be repurchasing this um, Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer which I picked up I think at the last sale maybe um, trying to use up my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. For mascara, I am using this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, which I think is new from the drugstore. Basically just an eyelash primer with my Clump Crusher Extensions Mascara from CoverGirl. For a setting powder, I am using a combination of the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and the Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. If I decide to wear eyeshadow today, I'm going to pick a shade from this MAC Quad. The shades in here, I believe, are Wedge, Espresso, All That Glitters, and Woodwinked. If I bust out a bronzer, which um, lately I haven't been, um, but I use this Dior Nude Skin, Nude Air Nude Skin in 002 Sunlight, I think. And lastly, for blush and highlighter, I have the Laura Mercier Lush Nectarine, which I forgot how much I love this blush. It's just a beautiful peachy pink blush. And then for highlighter, I've been using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. I changed my makeup up a little bit. I'm actually wearing the eyeshadow from Burberry and Pale Barley. I'm just trying it out because I realized I haven't really worn it that much. It's not as magical as I thought it would be. Remember when everyone was talking about Pale Barley and how it was just amazing? Um, well, their new formulation is not great. At least the color is slightly different. But I thought I would wear it today to see if it's worth keeping in my collection and I do like it. It's just a little bit different from what I would normally wear. I just left Sephora and I picked up a couple things. I'm not gonna show you what it is now. Instead, I will film a haul. So 
I can upload it before the sale ends in case you're interested in some of the things I picked up. Um, but, spoiler alert, it is an eyeshadow palette. Because I have this one in, one out rule, um, I have decided to let go of one of the eyeshadow palettes that I do have. Anyway, I'm excited about my new palette and my new goodies. I have to go back one more time because I do need a new setting spray and it's just, I really wanted to pick up the new Clarins. It's not really new, but new to me. The Clarins setting spray. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like rose infused. But it's just not equitable. The Clarins one is $30, no discount at the bay. And it's only 1.7 fluid ounces. Whereas the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which I really like, uh, is $39, but you get 15% off and it's four ounces. So the Bo and I are having a Friday. We are gonna have sushi again. Um, we're in the same place that we went to a couple weeks ago because it was really good. <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday, and the Bo and I are at Ikea because I want to get a desk. I have a plan for my beauty room and also our other spare room, so I need a new desk for that. We just finished having breakfast, so now we're going to quickly tour the showroom and then pick up our stuff and then go home. Okay, this is the desk I was looking at. I like it because it has um, two drawers, and it's also a bit thinner than my current one. Okay, mission accomplished. I got my desk. Uh, the Bo and I are just having some frozen yogurt. I know it's really early, but when you're at here, how can you not have the froyo? We're home now, and I'm going to put my desk together, and I'm also going to kind of clean out our spare room because it's currently being used to house all of the things that we need to either throw or donate, and two racks of clothing. So I'm gonna try to go through all of that stuff because I wanna set up my current table in my beauty room in our spare room and put my sewing machine on it permanently. I find that I don't use the sewing machine as much because I always kinda of have to put it on my table and set it up. So I kinda of wanna have a stationary place for it to live. Um, but first I have to go through all of these boxes. So this is the mess that we have happening in this room. We have like our vacuum, some bags I have to put away. These are kind of where we store seasonal clothing. These are all clothes that either have to be thrown out or donated. I still have some of like my makeup declutter here, which I have to dispose of somehow. These are the products that no one would take. So I have to find either a new home for these or just throw them out, unfortunately. Going through those boxes of clothing to donate and I found this vest. I used to really like this vest at one point, but now I'm like trying it on and I'm thinking, what was I thinking? I don't know what kind of sartorial statement I was trying to make with this vest, but I did like it at the time. I think this is from Vero Moda. I sort of want to vomit at the amount of clothes that I, I wouldn't say I necessarily wasted my money on, but they're clothes that I've maybe worn a couple of times and then now they're just probably gonna go to a landfill somewhere. I never really thought of my spending habits as being excessive because, I mean, I could be buying way more than I currently am buying. I always thought I was kind of more on the conservative side when it comes to buying things. However, as I'm going through the clothes that I currently have to donate, um, it's a lot. <laughs> I want to say 70% of the clothes that I'm actually getting rid of are clothes that I really loved at one time, but at the same time I've only maybe worn more than five times, but less than 10 times. I think that's part of the reason why I've been a lot more picky with the kind of clothes that I buy lately, because I just want to buy clothes that I know I'm going to wear a lot and often. So I've been trying to kind of pare down my wardrobe. Surprisingly, my work wardrobe is much larger than my weekend wear. <laughs> so far, it's going pretty well for me. I'm kind of transitioning my current work wardrobe from all the cashmere that I usually wear in the fall and winter to some lighter pieces. And I'm happy with how my closet's turning, but going through all of these clothes right now is, ugh, it's making me cringe at all the money that I've wasted. This is my current uh, situation. <laughs> this pile here is stuff that I'm going to discard because it's just not worth donating. They're not in good repair. Then I have some banker's boxes here that I'm trying to fill up with clothing that I can um, donate. So yeah, there's some things here. Okay, this blazer, for example, from H&M. I did wear this a bunch of times, but 
um, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for and this fabric, it's just not going to wear well over time. So I figured I would just donate it now while it's still fairly in good shape. Of course, it's very wrinkly because it's been folded like this in a box for a long time. But I have like a bunch of knit sweaters and jeans that I don't wear anymore. The unfortunate part is this isn't even my full like closet declutter. I still have a bunch of clothes in my main closet to go through and some clothes in this room but I don't think I'm gonna have time for that this weekend. So I'm just going through the boxes that I have set aside for literally months and I'm gonna just baby steps from there. Okay, I have about three and a half boxes of clothes that I have to donate and then a couple pairs of shoes and then a box of miscellaneous things like containers and um, like cosmetic bags and things like that. I won't have time today to go and donate them, but I, I put them in my foyer so that I won't forget to do it. The bow and I will probably do that together tomorrow. I have to figure out when the hazardous waste facility opens because um, I have a whole bunch of nail polish that I have to get rid of. And if you are an avid nail polish collector, you know that Nail polish is considered a household hazardous waste, so you can't just throw them in the garbage or pour them down the drain. Hopefully you guys don't do that. I am going to put together my desk now. I was at the mall because I had to take this figurine. You guys remember the bow and I had um, ourselves 3D printed, and he came off his little, um, it's not really a pedestal, but he came off. Um, this little disc. So I had to take them back and get them to glue them back on because I tried super glue and a glue gun and it did not work. So I don't know what kind of glue they use or maybe it's like an epoxy. Um, anyway, I also stopped into Sephora and I think that's probably gonna be my last purchase at Sephora because I really don't need anything else. I just picked up a setting spray. I'm gonna do a haul so you guys can um, see all the things that I did pick up and also the things that I was kind of debating but I also stopped into Shopper's Drug Mart. I actually went through the bay and I saw that they had the new um, Lancome matte shakers I think that's what they're called and I love the juicy shakers they're so good and I swatched a few shades on my hand they're still there and I decided I would try Shopper's to see if they had it so I could get at least 20 times the points and they did so I picked one up so I'll show you guys that color too I think I got the most neutral of the bunch is that first swatch. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the bottom swatch here. I just really like it. You know, I gravitate towards these kind of shades. Anyway, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna put this desk together before the one I go to his parents for dinner. No magic. They're not a wizard. The desk in the beauty room is not 100% complete yet, but this is what it looks like. Um, still a, definitely a messy countertop, so I'm gonna fix that. The drawers are also incredibly messy. I don't really have um, an organization system going in there. Um, so I do really like the desk a lot. I like how narrow it is. I like the cable management system because there's a little slot here and a slot under the desk that you can actually store a power brick or um, an extension cord. I like the two drawers because they're really nice. Um, the only change from my other desk would be the fact that I can't tuck my chair under. So that's as far as it'll ever go. And also, um, there's not a lot of knee clearance here. So that's just going to be a little bit of a change, but totally fine. I just, I really like it. It looks really nice. This is how the other desk looks. And again, I don't really have an organization system yet. These are all of just like the same stuff that was in my beauty room. I haven't had a chance to empty it, but I do have my sewing machine on there. This is the trench coat that you guys know I'm, um, I'm almost done it. I just have to sew the lining that I, um, cut into the jacket so this is almost done and it's part of the reason why I wanted to have like a dedicated sewing room because I need a, quite a large table for this and I hated always having to go downstairs and using our um, dining room table so this way I actually have a bit of space to lay clothes out and patterns out so I'm really happy with it um, I just have like a monitor here that I don't think we use but I didn't want it on the floor so I just left it here and um, this I still have to tidy up 